I think that you will all agree that it's a lot easier to understand a proposal using a 3D project like I'm doing right now instead of 2D. Uh, and it's even more true uh, when speaking with stakeholders that might not be as technical, uh, but that still need to understand pr the, the project before they decide to move forward with it or not. Uh, and thanks to Liveline now, it's uh, even faster to create 3D proposal uh, than it is in 2D. Uh, but that doesn't mean that you cannot leverage uh, 2D assets or, or, or 2D plans like this one uh, to accelerate your proposal process and even uh, put more context in them. So let me show you a couple of things that you, you can do with a, a 2D plan like this one. So let's go back uh, in, in the edit mode. So this is a 2D plan that I've imported from a previous project. Before I start working with it, uh, I'll need to make sure that it, it's at scale. So I will use this little tool here and say that from here to there, this is eight feet. Now uh, the plan is at scale. I will make sure to lock, lock it like this. Uh, now there's a couple of things I can do. I can try to recreate the building itself, so the plant by putting walls, for example. So I'll drag it here. And start stretching it around the perimeter like this. Like that. So I can recreate the building. I can even put some H beam. Make sure that I have all the obstacle inside the building and make sure that my solution will fit or not. I can stretch my H beam if I want, like that. Let's put one more. I guess you understand the, the principle. Another, another thing that I can do is try to recreate what's already inside the plant in 3D. So for example, here I have a palletizer. So I can start in putting a turntable at the right spot. I can put a, a robot base like this and put the robot on top of it. And maybe let's put a gripper. Just to show you that anything can be stretchable inside Liveline, you can place some fences and just go around like that. So once again, I think you understand the principle. Uh, and the last thing that you can do uh, with a 2D plan like this is to start from the existing solution and build on top of it or the next phase of the uh, of the project if you want. As for example, here we have a, a, a palletizer and maybe we want to add a stretch wrapper for the pallet after that. So let's put a um, pallet conveyor right next here. So this is the existing solution. Now I'm going to start a, a phase two of the project, let's say. And now I can stretch, stretch that one, place a Lentex stretch wrapper like that. And maybe another conveyor like this, maybe a forklift. one like that and maybe this is my new proposal so different ways that you can leverage existing assets 2d plan to accelerate your 3d proposal process uh, and to know more about liveline please head out to liveline.digital or book a demo with somebody with our team and it will be our pleasure to show you the full power of liveline thank you